So, what we are up till now talked about is the packing material. Now, anything you want to protect, you need an outer covering. So, the plant tissue also requires an outer covering and that outer covering is provided by epidermis. Epidermis is a single layer of cells. It is continuous so that there is no mechanical injury or anything to protect. So, there is a single layer like this. which surrounds the inner cells. However, in the case of plants, what happens that in sorry not just plants in the case of leaves, we are of course talking about plants. In the case of leaves, the continuity is broken by tiny pores which are called stomata. The stomata are surrounded by kidney shaped guard cells. So, actually speaking stomata are not cells, they are only tiny pores. The cells are the guard cells which surround the stomata. Now, in the case of stem, what happens is that this epidermis is replaced by lateral meristematic tissue which keeps on dividing and what we get is many layers of cells like this. If you see the trees, you will find that there is a thick covering which can even be peeled off and that is the bark. So, the bark has many layers of cells. So, here there is not single epidermis which is in the case of tender parts or the young parts, the older parts require more protection. So, even the epidermis is replaced by many layered bark. This bark has to protect the inner tissue from water and other variables. So, it has a substance in it which is called suberin. This suberin makes it impervious to water. What does impervious mean? It does not allow water to seep in. So, now we have the outermost covering, the inside. Now, let us get into the extreme inside, the central part or the complex tissue. 